name is Wayne Draper. I'm a lecturer at NPTC College, and today I'm here with Josh. Josh is a level three student on the electrical installation course, and we're going to be looking at the new super odd R1R2 link. And the idea of today is just to have a bit of fun and to have a race. So it's my experience against Josh with the new product. So we're going to start off with a continuity test on a lightning circuit and see how it goes. Okay, Josh? As you can see, we're in a college setting. The board is safely isolated via a plug and socket, so Josh is completely safe, but Josh is fully aware that he should be using a safe isolation kit on site, and everybody should be aware that all continuity testing is a dead test, and the circuit should be safely isolated. So the first step with any testing is to check your instrument and to null your leads. So first of all, Josh and I just have a quick look, making sure that the instrument is in good working order, and the next process will be to null the leads. Josh is obviously going to null the R1, R2 link as part of his process. So we'll do that now, Josh. Okay, and we're good to go. Okay, good luck, Josh. Good luck. So I'm going to be using the traditional method, disconnecting the CPC from the main earth bar, disconnecting the line conductor from the MCB. I can't use a Wago connector because there's quite large bootless ferrules on there. So I'm going to be connecting these in a traditional connector block. The read in's 2.5. Read is 2.5 done already. Done. Fantastic. Yeah. Well done, Josh. Well done. As you can see, Josh was much quicker than me using the R1 R2 link. One of the other benefits is how quickly it would be to do the next test, which is just simply disconnect, move on to the next line conductor, and away to go. Josh is ready to test again. So the speed factor is huge. As part of the kit. There is a PZ1 model specifically for RCBOs. So for any electricians who are testing regularly, this is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money.